would say the American dream is the idea that everyone should own a house that is the top of what they can afford. The most expensive house that you can get a loan for. The snapshot of housing in Sitka, it's, it's dynamic. We have extremely high-end homes, and then we have a third of our population that makes less than $25,000 a year. If our median home is around $350,000, a good portion of our community can't rent or buy a home uh, with their income levels. The old way of thinking about real estate, the idea of the White House with the picket fence and 2.5 kids and a dog doesn't work for everybody anymore. We are a young fishing family with two little kids. It felt like Sitka was it for us. We were just well, really you go in first and he will come struck in. by it and really wanted to find a way to be here. When we found a place for rent, it just seemed like it was the time, and we just ran for it. We would like to own a home that we have our choice in how it suits our needs, and we keep looking. <laughs> We're seeing uh, interest in tinier homes. An ADU, that term, that acronym is for Accessory Dwelling Unit. And really what that means is that we have a principal residence. So we have a single structure that is sort of the main focus of the lot and its use. But we're going to allow an additional use, an accessory use, to that principal use, and that is this dwelling unit. An accessory dwelling unit is a tiny home, or a smaller home, but on a foundation. If we take a look at the floor print here, they're probably about 400 to 500 square feet for the accessory dwelling unit in and of itself for the floor. This is around, I believe, 900 to 1100 square feet for gross usable space. My ideal housing model for families like us and individuals and older people is being able to share in a property and having our private dwellings and yet having large communal space. There's many different types of home ownership. So you can see we're really hurting for views in this unit. There's multifamily, there's income property, there's real estate investing and you don't need to be rich to be a real estate investor. You can really own something that makes not only economic sense, but is beautiful. When you think, gosh, you know, I can't really afford a $600,000 home. Well, you can if you've got two units rented out, paying $2,000 a month total, all of a sudden, that mortgage payment's a lot easier. You have to change your mindset a little bit and say, well, how comfortable am I in being with a, being a landlord? The efficiency's a little hard to film in it because it's tiny. But I think you'll, you, I think this will really work for you. And it's a great example of how a luxury unit can also provide housing for working folks. I think the idea of buying a larger home than you need and making it a rental or having an accessory dwelling is what a lot of people are doing. For me personally, I would not be willing to go into that amount of debt when we have our hands in so many other things. You know, we're this wild, pristine place in Alaska, but the truth is we have a lot of the same problems that Tokyo and New York City have, which is we don't have a lot of land to build on. We have a ton of land, but you can't build on it, and nor is that likely to change very much. So you've got to do more with less. While there tends to be a national trend of costs rising, our housing prices compared to the lower 48 uh, are much more. Our housing prices compared to Alaska in general are much more. We would love to find something that is basic and small and we could get into for, you know, 200,000. It. it seems like it's kind of a rock and a hard place and yet our love for this place keeps us trying to make it work. If we were really to sit down with every person that says, I'm leaving because housing's expensive, is going to really go, well, why is that housing expensive? One, because there's a lack of supply or a lack of adequate uh, and quality housing for the price that they want. But two, because they don't have enough money in their pocket from their job here. A living wage at the minimum for Sitka needs to be about $24 to $25. We've made some steps in our sort of social dialogue about what the community is open to, because that's one of the part of the drivers. Is the community going to be open to variances or conditional use permits for something that is new? For a human, uh, what are our most, our most essential needs that we have? Uh, we need food, uh, we need water, and we need shelter of some type. 
that you feel rested and you feel welcomed and you feel good about that really enables you to go out into the world and to do those other things that really make you a part of the community.